Pressure is the force per unit area. It means if I'm applying the same amount of force using my hand, my fist, or my palm on the table, for example, nothing will happen. But if I'm using the same amount of force and pressing down a nail, the nail will penetrate the table. So that's the effect of pressure. So as the, as the example states, with smaller area, smaller contact area, the pressure will be greater. With larger contact area, the pressure will be smaller for the same amount of force we applied. So the equation is over here, pressure equals to force over area. And the SI unit, since the unit for, uh, unit for force is Newton, unit for area is meter square. So the unit for pressure is Newton per meter square, or sometimes we call it Pascal. But you can just remember the Newton per meter square. So let's have some examples. For high pressure, for example, we have that knife, screws, nails. Yep, so with high pressure. And also we have low pressure examples. For example, walking, moving in the soft snow, instead of having tires, probably we will have a long, uh, larger area to reduce the pressure in case we, we are trapped in the soft ground. And okay, this one for water or for liquid, the point is when it goes deeper, the pressure becomes larger. So that's why you see all of them, it will have thicker on the bottom and thinner on top. It's due to the pressure because the bottom part, it must endure larger pressure.